Arabian man. I believe we all Arabian. No, 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 we are not Arabian we, 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 But we came from that Islamic, I mean, come on, brother. No, I'm asking, I want to make, I want to know where you at so we can meet you where you at. That's why I asked, are you an Arabian man? I believe I am. You believe you come from the lineage of Ishmael? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to prove that too, that that's not you at all. Bring it up! Brother right here, you had a question about the Islam? Yes, 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 yes. Because my man, you said you asked, you asked that we believe in Islam. And yeah, I was at for what for years. Brother. Okay, that's why I came with you know. Good deal. So, so you I was brought up with Catholic Islam, religion, a Catholic religion, and then you went into Islam. Yeah, and I went to Islam. Okay, so then, I was so under you, Mr. Farrakhan, I was under that. Good deal, good deal, you good deal. So you was under Farrakhan. Now, no, now, now we're not, now, now we're not going to downplay the order that it put our brothers in, because it did put our people in order, but it was the wrong order. Right. It was not according to God at all. Right. At all, because you have a cross on your neck now, so you're not in it no more. Is that what you? Is that? I just went for some time. Okay, because of the Catholic Church. Yeah. Now, now, can we prove to you, or see, we're going to go with some things into the Islam about when we in captivity in the sub-Saharan slave trade, Jeremiah three. Was, was we under the was we under the Arabs in slavery as well as in America Absolutely. too? So is Arabians? What's their religion? Arabian. An Arabian man. What's his religion? Is it Islam? It's Islam. Right. Yeah. So, but are you an Arabian man? I believe we all Arabian. No, 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 no. We are not Arabian we, we, men. We, we, but we came from. I mean, come on, brother. No, I'm asking. I want to make. I want to know where you at, so we can meet you where you at. That's why I asked. Are you an Arabian man? I believe. I am. You believe you come from the lineage of Ishmael? Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna prove that too. That that's not you at all. Bring it out. So read what you got. Jeremiah chapter three, verse two. Read. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places uh -huh. and see what thou hast not been lying with. So it said, look unto the high places and see who we have not been lying with. See who has not deceived us. Read on. In the ways, in the ways, read on. Has thou set for them? In the ways we set for them. So we set and learn their ways. Read. As the Arabians. As the who? The Arabians. That's why our brothers now follow. Arabian customs. Islam is not a so-called black man custom That's at all. Because right. it's not. This right here just told you an Arabian. We're going to read. Who are you reading that from where, bro? Out of a Bible. Out of the King James Version Bible. Right. That's right out of the Bible. Because don't, 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 don't Islam people, don't they believe? People that are following the Muslim religion, don't they believe in the Bible too? Absolutely. So if they believe in the Bible, but the Bible tells us that Arabians had us in slavery, why would we follow that? Because in the, in the book, in your book, in your book, does it tell you where you come from? Who's your people? Yo, brother, we all Arabic. We all from, come from Africa, no matter No, I'm not saying we don't come from Africa. So now, give me that. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe, to do all his commandments. What's your name, bro? I'm Ray. Remy? Yeah, Ray. Raymond? Yeah. Raymond, I'm Atom. Atom, okay, yes, sir. Where, where do we come from originally? Where's our I'm finna read uh, uh, uh. That's what I'm reading right now. Okay. I'm reading it right now, because right. I know that's the confusion. That's why I'm finna, I'm finna address it right now. Bring it out. So it said, if these people that it's talking about, if y'all don't do what God said, there's gonna be curses that happen to you. Read. His commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, verse 46. Verse 46. And they, and they those curses, shall be upon thee for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder. If, if, no. if there is a sign, what does a sign do for our people that identify something, right? Jeez. So these curses are going to be a sign upon these people how, for how long and upon thy seed upon your children forever forever so you will oh, always Lord. be able to read these certain signs or curses and you'll be able to identify who these people are right, All right? you good with that Absolutely. you understand that Absolutely. so far good verse 30. verse 30 thou shalt betroth the wife uh -huh. and another man shall lie with her when did that happen to our people well we would have a wife 
and then somebody else could come and lay with her whenever they felt like it. When did that happen to us? When did it happen to us that we could have a wife and somebody else to come and sleep with her whenever they felt like it? I don't believe that happened. You don't believe that happened? No. Hmm. How do you think we got to America? That's slavery. Bro. Okay, good. Slavery. Now, verse 68. Since you don't believe that part, let's see about this part. You said that's slavery? Read on. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop. It said God is going to bring us into Egypt again. But it was not called Egypt back then like that. It was actually Ham, the land of Ham or Mizraim, right? right? So now let's read what that word really meant out of the Bible. Read it up. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Read it up. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Here's your meaning. Read on. Out of the house of bondage. Does Egypt mean house of what? Bondage, right? So now let's read 68 again. Now you put, put what's another word for bondage? Slavery, right? Like you said. Yeah. Slavery. Now when we read Egypt, you put slavery there because that's what it means, right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery. Again. Again. With ships. Who did that happen to? <laughs> what did God call the read on? We're gonna read the rest of it because when we got off the slave ships, what happened? We were sold, right? We were sold, right? We're gonna read that. Read. By the way world, I speak unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. We have not been back to our homeland, which is Jerusalem. We have not been back there. Like you said, it is a part of Africa. Yes, it is. But that's where we come from. We ain't been back there as a nation of people since slavery. Right. Read. And there, and there, when you get off the slave ship, read on. You shall be sold uh -huh. unto your enemies. Not your friends, your what? enemies. Absolutely. You will be sold. You said that. That was in slavery. Absolutely. We're reading slavery out of the Bible. Yes, this right. is what we're reading. We're not reading nothing that was, that every, this book is all over the world. But nobody teaches our people who we really are. So what's what is so we're gonna finish this script and then I want you to tell me about those interpretations. Are that okay with you? I'm good with it. And there and there you shall be sold unto your enemy for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. That word buy is a quicker word for redeem. Our redeemer is Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. I know this is me. I've been right So you know that. So you know that I'm Islam. From Brooklyn, New York. That, I sir, know. sir, I understand I'm that. This man right here from New York too. Yeah. We got another brother from New York too. Yeah. We from They're everywhere. Down. That, so, that where are you from? She down. from Philly. So is that important? To be on the Panthers, man. You was at the Black Service Panthers. Obey your master. All yeah. praise. North Philadelphia. So, in the mm. Good deal. Ooh, no, no, so no, no, we no, need no, to talk no, to you. Slaves too. obey your master. So now, mm -hmm. so those things, so now you know that Islam was after the fact. So if it was after, why wouldn't we come back to the original of our God? I get out. Now that's fine. We we respect all people. Give me that in Romans 13 and 1. We do respect all people. Uh, is it 12? Jump up to 12. I want the one toward the end of the chapter. That we do respect all people. We do respect them all, but when it comes to our people, we love our people. That's why we come out here to really show you. Look, Islam is wrong. Christianity is wrong. Catholicism is wrong. Right. All those things have not helped us. We are actually in this same predicament. We are worse now than we was in slavery. Think about it. Half of our pop, over half of our population was married in slavery. You look it up now, we are less than 25% married right. as a people. But but we'll say today, we need to respect everybody else's religion. All those religions have us jacked up like this today. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, okay, all praise. Let's read that. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. Uh -huh. If it be possible, as much as life in you. So it's saying, if it be possible that lies within us. Read on. Live peaceably uh -huh. with all men. Respect everybody. That's what, that's, all, that's what you said, that's what the Bible commanded us to do. So if it be possible, right now we ain't had no beef with nobody out here. We just reading the Bible to show us who we really are. Right. Because, because the sister right here, because you had said that what they taught us back then was slave obey your master. Right. Am I right? Because that is what they taught us. But did they write the Bible? The people that taught it to us. We can give you the context of that. Uh, you got a flyer. Did they give you one? No. My man's oh, okay. one. Okay. So look on the back of that flyer. Right. On the back. 
on the back yeah, of the floor. Right, right. That's this right address right. right here. That's where we at. We there on the Sabbath day. We're right here. We are right here in Columbia. We only a few minutes up the street. A few minutes up the street. So make sure you come holler at us. All right? All praises, man. So that idol, can I read? I'm going to read out more scripture about the idol. Isaiah, let me get Isaiah uh, 30 and 22. Stay right here. One more time. One more verse before you leave. Because you got this idol. I know. We got you. We got you. We got you. So now you understand you're an Israelite, right? Good deal. So you're an Israelite. You are actually a Jew. So you will call yourself a so-called African-American today, right? According to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Christ came from that same tribe. So guess what kind of blood you got running through your veins? The exact same that Christ had. Right. But you didn't think that about yourself because an Ara Arabian religion and Christianity you, bro, never you told really you. Have to tell me this. Cause I don't feel that in my heart, bro. You said you don't? I don't in my heart. I feel I'm an Asiatic. Black you're an Asiatic man. black man. Yes, sir. Now, if you think you're Asian, what is what is the significance of being an Asiatic black man? Because we all come from Asia is where we all come from. Oh my God! You said you just said earlier that we all came from Africa. Now you say we all no, come from that, Asia. That's the whole from the so that's double minded. That's yeah. double minded. How could that be? Because that's flip flop, and now I don't know what you're talking about. So let's read that about this idol. Read that. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 22. And then bring it out. Sister, read. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images. That should be defiled. That covering, read on. This is going to tell us what it's covered with. Of silver. Silver. <laughs> And the ornament of that molten images uh -huh. of gold. Because sometimes you see our brothers with gold on it, don't you? Yes, sir. But the Bible, God already had his people paid. He already knew what we was going to be caught Jeez. up in. And we would walk around, floss in the chain, yeah. with, the cross, with gold and silver. So he made sure he wrote it for us to bring out to our people in the last days. Right. That's what we're doing. Read on. Thou shalt cast them away. You should throw it off you. Meaning cast it away. This is a law in the Bible to the Jews. Yeah. That's who you are and you found that out today. That's yeah. right. Thou shalt cast them away uh -huh. as a mistress cloth. What's a mistress cloth? Teach. Do you know what that is? Do you know what a mistress cloth is, sister? I think I have an idea what it is. I'll tell this brother what it is. Look, we gonna tell <laughs> this, you don't tell us. I want you to help him yeah. out. What is a mistress cloth? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. When a woman is on a period, what is she bleeding on? That's a mistress cloth. So when God sees you right now with that around your neck, you a tampon walking around thinking it's pretty. Bring it's fly. When no, it's not. We worried about what men say. Oh, that brother got a good chain on. Mind you, it said you were teaching people lies. So you got children that see that chain, just like you said, you like it. And that's what you brought up, Ben. So you got other people that are like it, and they'll be like, I'm going to go get me one. You get tell out. them that. You Yo. help teach them that. And then this says that is a mistress cloth. So you're going to help other young men put a tampon around their neck. Bring it out. Is that it? Read on. Thou shalt say unto it. You shall say to that. Read on. Get the hits. You're going to throw it to the ground. You're going to cast it off you because it is making God sick. We don't want to make God sick. Am I right? We want God to be happy with what us and we want to be saved, but we're not willing to do what he commanded us to do. We always right. take the chain off, just the charm. What, what, we we always wore charm. We always wore chains. But you can take that charm off right now. What's the difference? What's the problem? With the Isaiah? All praises. You go ahead and do that. All praises. You go ahead and take it off, brother. That's obeying God's law. That's obeying. Now, now take the charm. Now throw the charm away, but keep the chain. The chain, you can keep the chain. Hey, Solomon then wore jewelry. So you can keep that. But the but the charm itself, don't put that back on. That's an idol. And you're showing our people false.
it's so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.